do it. You can't do it in VR. And Strawberry, oh. if you want to take a photo... I'll put my... I'll take a photo once everyone's sitting. I'll go back here to the VR crowd. Hey, Rick Crack. Rick Crack is... Okay, I made that joke already five times that he's all crack. It's not that funny anymore. Uh, maybe it never was. But, uh, my brand of humor works with repetition. Is that what you call it? <laughs> I learned that from Forbes Magazine Comedy Workshop. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'm sitting or standing. You're standing. Trady, you can you, you can see yourself in third person. Are you in VR? Or are you I, in well, I am in VR right this second, but I can move my headset and go to the head to desktop. But uh, no, no, but wait, Trady, you can click, you can push the joystick in the Oculus, and then you see I'm, yourself in I'm third. I'm in the uh, Vive. Ah, but the Vive actually, I don't know. So what could you what could you do on the Oculus? To sit? Can you, you can't sit in VR though. No, you can't, but you can click your right uh, button, your joystick button, and then you see yourself in third person, which is kind of cool. Oh, I see. And it would... Uh, God, I hope that my battery... I'm going to have to do this on desktop instead of VR today. I'm having sinus problems and my eyes are watering, so I can't wear the VR headset. Oh. So I'm just going to be in chat. I don't have a microphone when I'm on desktop. See you guys later. Ryan, you, you have Silas problems? Is Silas with us? <laughs> Silas is right here. Oh, hi Silas. Oh my god. Chris, you see Silas is out there? Okay, we're live on the YouTubes, folks. In a few minutes, I'm gonna... I have the uh, image up right now. And I, I'm gonna get a few batteries. Spare batteries for my controller. We're not on the internet. Wait a minute. What is the internet? Is the internet the sport that will take Hover Derby mainstream? all been given away drax gave them away hello there and welcome to uh wait a minute what show are we i'm doing a show daily now i forgot what show what show is this hello everybody world hopping world hopping, world hopping. oh i um, thought it was atlas hopping okay well what do i know uh atlas hopping. atlas hopping well give a big shout out to the youtubes because we are on the internet hello hello and somebody's sitting on my car, and somebody's <laughs> sitting on the fence, and here is some guy on the ground. I think he's behind the sport that will take VR mainstream. Is that right? <laughs> Galen or something? No, S Sin is trying to take credit for that. Oh, Sin, where, where is he? Yeah, I just, I just phoned in. Screw you guys. Are you referring to Hover Derby, the game that will... That may take uh, VR mainstream at last. Yes, yes, at last, absolutely, because <laughs> because it's it's about time. Okay, my left arm is weird today. Um, I don't know if my battery's on. Today? No, no, it's ah. Yeah, that's I think usually I'm... his right hand. Yeah, usually I I usually use my right hand. How about you, Sin? Your left left hand. Left. <laughs> okay, well, welcome everybody. Is there anybody new here that I haven't seen? I don't see any names. Can you just, everybody just say your name? Because I think there's a glitch with names right now. I, I don't see the names. Well, I'm seeing them. Um, I'm seeing them. I'm seeing them. I'm seeing them. Everybody I'm say their name. Drugs. Everybody who wants to use voice, say their name. Who are you people? What are you doing? I'm Strawberry Singh. Hey, I know I'm you. Galen, the human that may take VR mainstream uh, at last. <laughs> Investors, welcome. I hear Chris's voice. I'm Urban Magi. 
Urban Hello. Magi! Oh, I haven't I'm seen here. you in a while. And you, Safia I'm Vesta! Oh, we have a new person, Ebby. We could introduce him around. Right. Who, Ebby? No, oh, I've no. seen that guy with his rainbow shirt. He never washes no. it. <laughs> he wears it, like, all day long. Hi, Ebby. Hi, Ebby. How are you? Ebbe, did you hear about the sport that will take VR mainstream? <laughs> okay, let's stop that. Strawberry, what are we doing today? We are visiting the museums of Sansar. Right, okay, Why so... Are you walking on top of me? Because I there's some glitch going on. I keep walking. I can't stop walking. <laughs> or talking. <laughs> well, somebody needs to talk. Is that a glitch? That's <laughs> not a glitch, that's a feature. You know... <laughs> This talking may take yeah. VR mainstream, I heard somewhere. Because <laughs> it's a feature. Is talking a killer app? Talking is the killer app, absolutely. And the other killer app is museums, where absolutely nothing is happening, and people just stand around and look at pictures. And that's what we're doing today, just standing around and looking. <gasps> is this Worfy? Oh my god, we got the biggest crowd. <sighs> yeah, prepare for Sun's Art of Crush? No, no. Okay, what's the first museum set, museum that we should go to, guys? And, you know, the reason for these museums... Let me say two things real quick, and I know everybody goes like, okay, here he goes, in 30 minutes we're still standing here. Um, what's up, my dude? So, Ryan... Oh, Ryan is back. Hey, Ryan. Just his oh, hey, how's it going? So, a couple of things. Somebody asked about the houses. The houses have been given away for, for rent, so this is kind of an experiment. Rag from Rag VR is building the interiors. I think all the interiors should be linked to the exteriors. I'm not sure if the teleports work yet. Rag is very busy, so that will take a few more weeks, but then you will be able to go to the houses. People will live there. People will decorate uh, the houses. Daisy has a house. There's a bunch of people here um, who, who have the houses. Solas, his car is parked here. Strawberry has a house. And uh, we may extend the houses if there is interest further down the street. So we're going to add more houses. But basically, it, it takes a little longer than anticipated because Reg is super busy. And we're, we have... There's a lot of ambition. We want to have different houses. Right now, we only have three templates, but we're going to have unique houses, uh, unique interiors for every house. Sounds cool? Yeah, let's See, go. Nobody, is, nobody says anything. That's why I'm talking, because I learned on YouTube, you know, watching, like, oh, no. YouTube shows, that... <laughs> this that, isn't YouTube. Oh, it isn't? Oh. I thought we're live on YouTube. Are we not, Strawberry? I think I'm live. I don't know about you. Answer, but I'm, I'm not sure. It could Tracks? also be called YouTube. Will there be homeowners association and rules you have to follow? Well, first of all, there will be a home a homeowners association fee, because. Oh no! Right, as you know, I mean, <laughs> the killer app okay, of I'm virtual. My house. <laughs> the killer app of virtual reality is the Ponzi aspect of it. Um, <laughs> let's be real. Uh, <laughs> The scheme that will so take Jax, VR mainstream. Yes, Strawberry. We're going to go to Safia's home. place first? Yes. Okay. Safia is here, and I love Safia's place. And today we're going to museums because sometimes you read. Um, there was a bunch of articles out there, and the virtual reality group on Facebook, uh, triggered by a, a person that is known that I don't respect him very much. He has sort of a tabloid press thing going on with uh, Second Life and Other Worlds has stipulated that nothing is going on in Sansar and blah 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 and then everybody sort of piled on top and said oh there's only museums you can only look at stuff you can't do anything and I read that and I go like you know what's wrong with a museum matter of fact uh, there's wonderful museums here of, of very very different kinds of museums and they're all user made so I want on today's show I want to show that there's absolutely nothing wrong with using VR to build museums and to share that and create a sense of space even if you just quote unquote just display paintings for instance right doesn't even have to be interactive although we will go to some interactive museums okay so first one we're going to go to minimalism which is built by Safia who is over here 
God, my left controller, I keep repeating. I apologize, my left controller's battery, I think, is dead. Here we go! Sophia, can you share something? the link in the chat? Wolfie, and head tip to Wolfie, by the way, because Wolfie also alerted me to a... Uh, to an article about Hover Derby, the game that will take VR mainstream, which appeared in... <laughs> which, uh, what, Forbes? No, it appeared in the, in the German, uh, in a German uh, retailer magazine. Uh, is Ebbe, Ebbe, is he crashing or what's happening? Ebbe put the link in the, in the, in, about that. He, he crashed. In, dis, in, in Discord. Uh-huh. About, uh, I'm not following, but I'm... The so German retailer, the German retailer uh, was... Ab uh, uh, Ebbe passed that along. Very good of him. So he may come back to Atlas Hopping. We will have him back because he did mm -hmm. such a nice thing. Hey, Solus. Let's go to... Solus is here? Let's go quickly. Can we get back? Let's go quickly. <laughs> <laughs> so VR is bad. like middle school. Let's go. Welcome back, Ebbe. Oh, here's Ebbe. Ebbe. We're going to minimalism. Bye. So minimalism is made by Safia uh, Safia Vesta. God, I always I always say Sa um, uh, mix up her last name, but Safia Vesta made this, and I think it's a great example. So while we're in transition, I'm going to frantically try to change my batteries. Uh, so I will be try to change my batteries. We have a big, um, big played today of different experiences so we're going to rush through them a little bit but i want everybody to take in the atmosphere and of course we're going to list this and safia asked me earlier if i would uh ask her questions live uh and safia is not a native english speaker so i didn't want to ambush her but here i'm doing it Safia, I love this museum. What inspired you to make it? You can also type if you like. It's it's wonderful. It's it's really wonderful. So this is um, minimalist museum. We hear music by Philip Glass faintly in the background. Actually, I can bring up these. Oh, it's screens. dark in here. Yeah. Yes, it is. Spooky. Yeah, I, can, I like it. Wow. You have to be also quiet. And I have to whisper because Drax yells at me. Solas, right. Solas, I get three emails per day where people complain I know I'm about going you. To. Is Solas talking again, or do I just hear it in my head? I, you hear it in your head, Drax. I can't even, <laughs> I can't even go into a museum with our, without our boys. Minimalims is an um, audiovisual experience. Yes. This is Safia talking. She made this. Hey, Safia. Good work. Safia, this is so inspiring. Hey. I'm sorry. It's fantastic. I speak a little English. Your English is wonderful, just like this museum. Thank you, guys. <laughs> no, we <are> wanna... <laughs> Safia, are you, are you continuing this? I mean, I really, this was one of the first places I, I came to. And it is so awesome, and I think it. Those three lights on the wall remind me of Spinner Cell. It shows that that there is a different aesthetic here in Sansa, which is kind of unique. Are are you an artist in, in the physical world? Sorry, space. Help me. <laughs> Let me use a translator. Hold on. Traducer. Traductor. Oh, that's actually an awesome idea. Safia, can you po uh, paste? Uh, can you paste uh, in chat? Uh, space, space, help me. Mm. Yes. Space, space, help me. Yes. I, I don't. Uh, I don't know if you're an artist in RL, because they're impressed with this work. No, no. Here's space. You're in there. So I, I well, understood that you're not an artist in the physical world. <laughs> I 
What's up, mighty people? <laughs> I want. Uh, I want to do. Uh, mini marines. Nice. Uh, I want to do. Uh, minimal arts. Yeah. A gallery. Uh, a gallery of minimal arts. But I don't know. What we can do here's an here's an idea, Safia. Hello. We can you can put your the Spanish into the ta into the chat, and then Galen puts it through the translator and reads it back as we're exploring the museum. Space, did you hear me? C can you translate? I think yeah, this would be perfect. I can. I can do it. Let's keep going here further down the experience. And you and Safia made wonderful. Hello, um, uh, Can you hear me? My left. Hey, Hi. Okay. Yeah, I can't completely translate what Safia says. Yeah, sometimes for non-native speakers, it's it's uh, it's difficult. Safia, thank you very much. Okay. It's um. It's very yeah, difficult yeah, sure. when we're in a international group but that's the wonder of a virtual world i mean that's really yeah, that's, great, oh, yeah. that's really the most amazing part of it i think that we can share the space together yeah right leper see sí. <laughs> zafia yeah it is describe sí. two respuestas in espanol para nosotros Okay, you Awesome, Galen. You're taking the lead on this. Perfect. But then, but Galen, you need. Okay, let me. Then I have to go out of VR. Hold on. I'll go out of VR. Thank you. And How's then I can look at the Very chat. Well, thanks. Escribe tus requestas en español para nosotros. We did it. It's all good. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> A good handshake. This place is awesome. <laughs> Agent M83. So, Galen, if you can translate it into English, then I'll read it back uh, for the YouTube folks as well. I'll go between VR and uh, desktop. Can you, uh, can you translate it? I was explaining that it's better. Wow. Oh, there you are, Tree. La, la chica comprende solo español. Beside you. Sorry. How, how good is your Spanish? My Spanish is not good. <laughs> your Spanish is not good. <laughs> but space, you were suggesting how can we uh, how can we get um, <laughs> how can we get Safia's uh, Spanish if she types it and Galen, you just copy and paste it into Google Translate. Uh, I wish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just have to type it in, but that's yeah, okay. I, I just explained okay. that. Yeah. Okay. I will in chat. Okay. Okay. Yes. Can you hear me? I think that that will be best. Dr. Donna Davis. Gracias for this experience. <laughs> okay. Yes, I'm... Sir, can you hear me? That's awesome. Nice. Yeah, I hear you, Alfie. Mm -hmm. Hold on. We're uh, just trying to find a way to. Um, so, Drex, why don't you uh, ask a. Oh, okay. Some of my bad. Some of my bad. Can you come up? Long Chris. No, soy artista. And I think that's, yeah, I'm not an artist in real life. Okay. Well, then let me say that I think you are a wonderful artist. Pretty amazing. Soaring stuff. Creo que eres un artista maravilloso. Thank you, thank you. Ah, that's... Okay, I put... Do you have a question? Wait, I put some new batteries. I'm, I'm, cha I, I am challenged with my batteries right now because I'm trying to get the batteries back here. Oh no, Drax is running out of juice. Quick, put some batteries in him. <laughs> okay, so sorry, folks, but the left, the left, uh, the left battery is just not working. 
Sorry, YouTube folks. I'm going to stay in, in, in desktop a little bit. Um, Sophia, just tell us what, uh, what, what you had in mind with this. Why, why was this the first experience that you made? <clears throat> What, what que, prompted you to, to, to make it make this? What you in mind with this experience? Do you actually know Spanish or are you trying to fake it? Oh, I'm, I'm faking it. <laughs> <laughs> it is so much better than my Spanish. So much better. Gindibal, do me a big favor and just uh, keep it quiet she for says, a little bit because we're trying to run a show and we're actually quite serious about finding out what Safia's... Um... Oh, I'm sorry. Did I interrupt you? Yes, you did. Safia says, well, I want to continue expanding it. Mm -hmm. But what is it about minimal art that, that fascinates you? That's that's what's so interesting to me. Or what what does minimal art mean to you? Uh, que tiene al arte mini minimalista que te fascin fascina. <laughs> That's awesome, <laughs> Galen. Perfect. <laughs> if you're in desktop, you can Google Translate. And just for the YouTube yeah, folks, so I apologize. The batteries are completely dead. <laughs> and it's wonderful that uh, Oculus did not warn me prior. Uh-oh. So, we're trying to get some new batteries in. Well, we're... And if you have any questions on YouTube, just uh, type them in. I can actually look at it right now. While I'm trying to get some batteries in. And I'm going to go over here to look at, uh, give the YouTube folks a little bit of a different view. All right, Drax, she says, I love making art with some with something minimal, with very basic objects. Yeah. You know, that's wonderful, um, Safia, and I think it also speaks to what, what I really like about it, uh, that this is also mixing up that sort of ultra realism that I think visual virtual world sometimes you know kind of dictate uh, implicitly by by what's possible and I think a true artist can sort of transcend that and doesn't fall into the trap of uh, you know a true artist creates a frame and then fills that frame with what they have and doesn't get overwhelmed by all the colors I hope this translation doesn't suck <laughs> of what you just said. <laughs> Let's hope Google doesn't jump. <sighs> okay. Hey, Strawberry. Okay. Hey, Abby. Does no one here actually speak Spanish hey, and English? Hello. Yeah, hey, that is really... I, I really... Hey, uh, I wish I did. Hey, oh, English. Galen, I feel so bad. I feel bad that in California they, they are... I want to turn that right there, right? <laughs> I'm That's a rally. He's such a crazy one. Mm -hmm. Galen, follow me and let's uh, walk a little bit further and then uh, please tell me what uh, Safia said while we're looking at more. And oh, then... yeah, I gotta type first. <laughs> okay, now my left list. controller is good are. to go. I love your bubble gum. I want some. This is actually really cool. Nice. Oh, you can interact with these. Strawberry, you know what was interesting? Strawberry, plan B, as the yeah. others chat. You know what our plan B is, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was interesting? Okay. What so, was uh, so oh, oh, plan B didn't work. I, I especially wanted to create very basic objects with a great movement with music. Yeah. This is so inspiring. It is also, uh, I mean, it reminds me of, of Second Life in, in, in the sense that the basic objects are so instrumentally important. Yes. Yeah, Safia. Look at me. This is uh, three 
Ray Fay's juice. Yes, three here, here, juice. Yep. See, here they show, show yep. other shape. Yeah, they create another on the shape on the floor. That's that yeah. is. This is all the aesthetic of of prim building that you brought over here, and I love that. It, it, you know, that's why I love it. I think because it almost, um, you know, you're 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 continuing a tradition of basic building blocks that that is so important in Second Life, and I think it it never ends to be important for for anything. The basic building blocks and how how they shape reality. Look at Abby. Pray to the prim, Ebbe. Pray to the prim. And I mean that. It looks like he's gonna, looks like he's gonna run. <laughs> run, Ebbe, he's run. Been, he's been running. <laughs> Take photos, people, as we pray to the almighty <laughs> prim. There goes the victory lap. I want. I want show. I want show a 3D objects. Oh yeah, we should shoot. Um, yeah. Shoot. And uh, shapes. Yes. yes, the interaction between 2D and 3D. 3D and yes. 2D. Yes. Uh, and, how, and how they interact. Very cool. Very inspiring. See, she even says. Magblade. I don't know you. Yeah. Hello. Like 3D. Let's keep going here, Safia. I think this I've Wait, never seen. <laughs> I've been here. And Strawberry, I'm just going to tell your audience that I met three people this week who did come into um, Sansar and they had never heard of Ready Player One and they came straight to, to uh, 114 Harvest. How did they find 114 Harvest? And here's the kicker. They liked the photo. They liked nice. when we stand on the porch and we look out <laughs> in the street. And they found that uh, in inviting. When they looked at the atlas, they found that the most inviting uh, picture. Nice. There's a nice picture of us. Yeah, but it's so funny just with one person there. I sometimes think like, you know, how do people perceive that picture? <laughs> like, oh, there's like, oh, but community. did take another one with a bunch of people there? Uh, yeah, but there was one person who was dominating that picture and we couldn't Photoshop him out, so we got to redo it. <laughs> okay. That we'll person, do it again sometime. That person is actually present. <laughs> and I have absolutely no shame in calling him out. You know what? Yeah. I, I can probably Photoshop it if you want me to try. Nah, let's see what happens. We'll, we'll do another okay. photo call or, uh, you know. Yeah. Oh, wow. But the, one there, the one we have there is nice, too. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'm overthinking it like that. This people... place is huge. The, she put that in just uh, recently. I've been here uh, oh. early on, but I've never seen this. Oh my god. Oh. Did you see Kristen is here? Kristen Lee? Yeah, from the... Yes, he's here. Yes, he's nice to see bit... you both. He's got ah. a bit of problems with his mic at the moment. Oh, so okay. It's... So this is the new addition. This is the new addition, yeah. uh, Safia. I've never it's seen so this. It's so great to see you guys. I was yeah, telling my streamers. Oh my. Oh, Thank you. Yeah, I finally was awesome. able to drag him in. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. I need to read it. Keyframes. The keyframe? Keyframe animation, yeah. What, is, what does that mean, keyframe animation? You can animate objects with uh, keyframe. You tell the object every oh, okay. every frame where it has to be, and then it okay. loops loops that. Look, Ebe is it's all a red. Video, a video editing video editing term, animation okay. term. Okay. Ebe is trying to follow the ball. That's gonna keep oh, him busy God. for the next two days. <laughs> Look at this. 
this doesn't work. Anymore. You know, one time, one time, I I go into the basement and Evan was there trying to put the receiver on the old phone, and I observed him, and it, and he was there three hours later, still wasn't able to put the receiver on. <laughs> like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> It's like, oh, Second Life is now where we're gonna go. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna try to put the receiver on the phone in Drax's basement. Yeah. My God, oh, there's a big crew here. How many are we? Jeez. Furry. Well, you That's know, Ebe, I met three people this week um, who came into 29. Sansar and they went to Harvest because they liked the. They liked the image that they saw in the atlas. They found it in, inviting that o the open street with Strawberry and me standing there. And the craziest thing was, Ebe, and I asked them, you know, did you come because you, you're a fan of me, you know? And they said, well, I don't know who you are. <laughs> that was the, well, that was depressing. But here comes the kicker, Ebe. Then I asked them, I asked them, do you know who Strawberry Singh is? And they said, no. And that made me no. feel good again. <laughs> they didn't know it. <laughs> Actually, today the uh, Sansar Twitter account uh, tweeted this atlas hopping, so thank you for that, Abby. I don't know who did that. So maybe that's why we also got extra people. I don't know what I did. I click all the buttons. <laughs> <laughs> and he puts the phone on the receiver. I mean, the receiver on the phone. They were, they tweeted it. <laughs> that's a good description of programming, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, Drax, you yep. wanted to go to five other places, so we should probably um, finish up here quick. So but I love this so much, Safia. We'll come back. I know. Yeah. <laughs> this is brilliant. This is yeah, so great, brilliant. Safia. Really great work, Safia. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, this is cute. Masai, look at this. <laughs> I'm a star. <laughs> yeah. Wow, oh, that's this pretty is cool. crazy. Alfie, sorry, you look uh, you look fantastic. I just need to uh, I need to run the sh the the show so that we uh, I can't talk to you. We talk later privately. And, and Alfie, by the way, uh, Trady is here. You saw it. I'll send you. I'll send you a. Oh my god, that's so cool! I love that. I'll send you a, a clip of the film. I uh, finished it Monday. Uh, no. How is your shadow going on there? I don't understand how that's working. Because, <laughs> so I think what's you see, strawberry there's is a light I think that the about me. Fun. Is actually a projection. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hey, Sin. Sin, the picture, the projection of the light. Sin, okay. um, I see your shoes. Doesn't they're doesn't nice. Okay. But but they're yeah. nice. Yeah. But they're nicer cool. shoes. Look. Well, yeah. yeah. It's all that hair work. They have my face on. It's like you stood in something. <laughs> Sin, I would like you next Atlas hopping. You're only admitted if you if you if you wear my signature shoes and get rid of those um, here. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll go barefoot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be cool. You know, actually, now that re reminds me, what sucks is that we can't look at our own feet. That's actually something. Oh. We gotta tell yeah. Eben. That's our new. Where is Eben? Where he is? Yeah, now that we're sitting, he can't say, "Don't do you want to sit or do you exactly, want to do Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I gotta run early today. I, I, I gotta Eben. have a lunch date with my wife. Eben, oh. before Eben, before you leave, <laughs> Eben, before you leave, um, thank you very much for the sitting. Um, for the sitting, that's wonderful. It only took 33 episodes of Atlas so Hopping cool. that you get us done. Uh, so for the next 33, we would like to fly, if that's cool, with everybody. No. No? No, no. No! 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 already tried. We need yeah. mouse over links to web pages. Oh, mouse over links to web pages, right. Mini map. Oh. oh no, we also need a mini map, that's right. And we also need uh, VR uh, uh, chat. I uh, mean, uh, no, not VR yeah, yeah. chat. We don't need them. <laughs> uh, I mean, chat in VR. Chat in VR, correct. You can, you can do that now. You can do that in VR chat. <laughs> you can do chat in VR. You can do chat in VR. Yeah. 
if you, you hack, to. if you hack a tomo, yeah. <laughs> well, I wouldn't call well, it. Well, that's hacking. good. <laughs> that's good. For next Atlas Hunter, we'll have that, that because that's that's the most important part that we see what people uh, chat in desktop and we can Ooh, respond. That would be to helpful. I think Drax yeah. needs a minder to tap him on the shoulder when it's time to move on. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Who said that? It's actually Ryan's <laughs> job. Where's Ryan? It's hard to push him around. <laughs> Ryan is not doing his job. <laughs> He said no. He's in yeah. desktop. He's in desktop. No, oh. Ryan said he logged out of sensor because he feels really sick. So oh yeah, Ryan. Right. Watching my stream. Uh, Drax. Yes. Drax. <laughs> Somebody's saying my name. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, right. If you don't know what that means, there is a meme spreading around which we have to perpetuate. I'll tweet about it later. Okay, here, quick, quick story. So you all heard about the game that will uh, make VR mainstream. Oh no! You read about that. And on one, I read it in Forbes. You read it in Forbes, right? Did you also read it on uh, MediaMarkt.de? No. Oh no, I missed that one. Yeah. So Ryan ran in. And he was screaming at me live. We were live on the YouTube or whatever that is, or Twitches or whatnot. And uh, and Ryan says, "Drax, Drax, Drax, your le microphone level is too low." <laughs> <laughs> you know, Ryan can hear you right now. He's watching my stream. <laughs> no, but you know, Ryan, we really, we totally, Ryan, we totally love you. And and really, I mean, seriously, that was hilarious and awesome. And and it didn't, you know, it. it it was no, no issue here. I, I, I'm not mad at you, Ryan, but, but if you do it again, uh, you know, we're talking about the game that may take VR mainstream according to the mainstream press. So you gotta really, you gotta think before you scream. Think. Yes. Next location. Next location. Uh, I want to go to what? Roast it. Friends by Livio Corabase. Yeah, that's a quick one. That's a great example of architectural design with some 2D images. Let's go there. That's great. Okay, I'm going to go to okay. desktop. It's in the chat. Oh, thanks, Wolfie. Naya, you look spectacular. Oh, yeah, Naya you does. Everybody breath? does. Yeah. I'm whispering. You friends. In the chat. Livio Corabas. Yeah, Livio Corabas. Right. Oh, no, that's is that Friends? Really? Oh, Livio's. Yeah, okay. So we're going to go to Livio's. Uh, actually, I haven't looked at that prior, but Livio is a wonderful artist, and this is probably, quote-unquote, only a sculpture, um, but it's also an example of, of what immersive art can be. Um, so the point of today, I'm going to turn the experience audio up. No, it's actually up, okay. Put the UI, UI music music I, it was down a little bit. I'll put it up because I love it. Um, so so the purpose of today's show is to give you an overview of what is possible with immersive art. And so um, you saw now with Safia's place interactivity. Um, we're gonna see some 2D images displayed, uh, pictures and paintings. And this is um, here we go. That's because most oh, people wow. don't own one spoon wow. plan. So oh, here wow. you can... Oh my <laughs> god. Let's get some like Sentai poses. So too. here I arrive <laughs> at a wonderful place <laughs> and I hear Solus's is... voice. Uh, oh god. It's, uh... yeah. wait, 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 wait. Oh, look, Why people pile up. Yeah. Check this out. This is awesome. Mega stack. Mega stack. Oh, that's awesome. knowledge. I got to I got to go back in. Of the pile in Sansar. Sorry, uh, Galen, come here. Uh, uh, what did you say, Ryan Schultz? Uh, what is the foundation? Is the foundation of uh, the the stack of people in Sansar? <laughs> is that him? <laughs> yeah, it is him. He is the foundation. You know, Galen. Good anyway. thing. Good thing that Hover Derby is not on, uh, or Hover Derby. In other words, the game that may take VR mainstream, because Ryan might just run away, screaming about something, and everybody will plunge to their deaths. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan! Ryan, don't move! I'm as tall as Don't move! Nobody move! Oh my god! 
She's really yeah, a man. Exactly. How did Ebbe come up there? Who said I'm a man? <laughs> I re- I re- <laughs> we can see you. God, I just want to look at art and I hear Solas' voice. Solas is just not stop. Where is she? Okay, that's, that's not cool. Ebbe is standing on Naya's... Okay, where is Strawberry? Strawberry? Plan B. Plan B. (laughs) And now the YouTube folks know what Plan B is. Plan B is when Strawberry and I run away because everybody's just yapping, yapping, yapping too loud. Here I am. So Strawberry and I have Plan B. Now if Plan B doesn't work, we're gonna go to Plan C, which is sort of a variation of Plan B, meaning that when people follow Plan C, uh, Plan C is just when people follow us to Plan B. Then we're gonna go to Plan C, which is to go somewhere else. So like, okay. uh, now listen, Strawberry. Can you derive from mm-hmm. what Plan C is what Plan D would be? Um, <laughs> we kick everybody out. <laughs> no, Plan D is when everybody follows us to Plan C. We're gonna go somewhere else. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> this so is... this place is a museum by uh, Leo Carabas. Livio Coroba- Livio Corobase. He's also known Corobase, in Second Life. Okay, and um Corobase. you know this this or Corobase. I don't and, hear any audio. No, me neither. And and what's wonderful here is I, I wanna say this. Um this is immersive art. You have a big There's space and you dis- you display sculptures in Livio's um example here. So this is I don't know if he would classify this as a museum. But I put it in the list of museums because what I wanted to showcase that even though, you know, the criticism or some of the critique that you hear that this, these places are static, again, the point here is there's nothing wrong with it being static. We can make it feel alive. We can create stories around it. You know, we can use our imagination just like the original artist did. So we fill it with, with stories. Okay. I know, Strawberry, that might be a little bit too intellectual for your uh, audience. Oh. But... <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, um, I wanted to say, somebody just said that they can hear music. How come I can't? Yeah, I, can't I can hear, hear it. I, can, I can't hear music. I hear music. I do. It's very faint. Yeah, I don't hear anything. Just the settings. Yeah, it could be uh, yeah my, my settings are high. Are they high? Like, oh, okay. Like, is, it, is it the experience audio or the UI music? Experience uh, it's audio, the experience right? audio. Yeah. yeah. The so I put on 100. High, but it's there. Oh, wait. Now I hear it. If I put it on 100, I can hear it. Okay. I'm going to put it up to. I want to walk see. up. So let's look around here. Maybe fast? Ah, oh, this is just. This is it's exactly what I wanted to do station. this show. This, this, this is. Guitar things? What is that? Oops. Where did I go? Oh, here we go. Strawberry, this is wonderful. The the variety of oh, she's running away from me. I didn't mean to offend, of course. And so, Sorry, Max, what were you saying? Oh no, I just tell my audience that they understand that I'm actually not. I'm just playing a jerk on YouTube because somebody told me that provocative triggering is the way to go to get an audience. Uh, because somebody told me that I've been rude. <laughs> Uh, no, but this is awesome. Isn't this great? I mean, this is a, a, a kind of what I wanted to uh, show uh, this week. Is this a big piano? Yeah, this is a gigantic piano. And let's wow. hop up there. I let's go up. We there. can go up there. We we we. If, Everybody if had it, the same idea. If it has collisions, then we can. Yeah, but they don't. Oh, they don't. They don't, they don't have. No, there's no. no way to get up there. They're begging for it. Oh. No. Oh, if someone intentionally prevented the user wow. from being able to traverse something in order exactly. to force them to view it from a distance. <laughs> hey, hey, Abby, what's, what's causing our shadows to do this weird thing? So I just wanted to tell the YouTube folks also, we're putting this as soon as the video is rendered for today. We're going to put it in the description. FYI, I changed my ID and I'm not going to do I wonder if I oh look there's more back there in in May I'm going to start reading um, my book uh, not my book but a book that uh, impressed me called the three-body problem and I'm going to read it live streaming 
from different locations within Sansar. And I think uh, I found a location where I'm going to start reading it. It's incredible. Stand underneath here. Underneath this giant head. And here you can get uh, get that sense of scale, like the universe. I think this is this is what uh, what I like best. And here's somebody, a lonely figure comes running through the sand. Oops, I went into went into desktop. Let's greet that figure. Who is it? Is it Ebe? Oh, so the name's going on and off. Hi, Philip. Isn't this great? I think this is super. <laughs> Here you can feel the, the sense of uh, the scale and uh, the sparsely um, placed items in this desert. It's just, it's like a civilization yeah. that that died, maybe. Yeah, and, and that, that just, has grown. Yeah. If you were here alone without the others, yeah, it's so quiet. Yeah, trust me. And I wish it, it I gives could. some rest. It gives some rest. Yeah, some 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 ear rest. Yes, Abby, yeah. exactly. Oh my <laughs> god! No, it's funny. Solas and I now have that running joke because <laughs> Solas says, "Oh, if somebody complained about me talking. Uh, always they hear my voice." No, but Philip is saying, "I mean, this is a wonderful uh, place for reflection." It's like yeah. a lost civilization. Yeah. It's like a planet that you visit. And it, yeah. uh, right. and Evan, we talked about this before. I mean, I think, I mean, you guys are on the right track. And I, 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 I'm, I, I so look forward to the day where we can optionally use, let's say, a, I don't know, a spaceship or some sort of vehicle to arrive, right? Because that would be awesome if the spawn point would be somewhere in space or something or you or the spawn point is like within inside a spaceship and then you just arrive you, on the planet you could do that i think already yeah actually why not i um, mean there's no reason why you couldn't spawn inside that ship up there that's right that's right and then and then you might have to do something inside there to teleport down to here or something you know yeah you have to press the right buttons or something yeah there's a button in the spaceship let's say and then you press those buttons and then you arrive at the at the yeah. ground station the, the, the go to planet button damn <laughs> strawberry then yeah, everyone was just saying because you know this it would be already possible mm -hmm. to put a spawn point inside a spaceship let's say so when you arrive here you see this vast planet with this lost civilization artifacts and and then you could press a button and then you could be on on the ground until so you create cool. sort of a, a story around it i like the scale of this because you yeah. don't realize how large these things in and how far apart they are that exactly. like i started teleporting to this face here i was like wow i have to like keep going and it feels like <laughs> yeah i thought it would be closer than it was it's kind of like and distance kind of it messes with the sense of distance totally totally and only because because we have so much space here we have this huge amount of space he's gone how far are you? where did he, he go just teleported away he went really far somewhere. he's like oh now he's coming here, back here. slowly see i can teleport oh, oh here's the edge oh shit i was out out of the edge almost Whoa, and then, oh, look from here, look from here. Look, Philip. Oh, he's at the edge. This is so, this is freaking cool. All these little people like ants. Did Philip go back? This is so cool. If you go all the way back, you are so far. Yeah. Yeah, and you can still see the the group there huddled together, uh, like yeah. little ants. And, and I, I just <laughs> finished this sci-fi novel that I tell everyone about, and I'm gonna start reading it in Sansar live streaming. But I've just finished it today, the third part of the trilogy from Xi Jing Liu, a Chinese author. And there's a lot of play with scale, and there's a lot of scenes 
that are very evocative that how he describes it like with lost civilizations that and and so this is really like having just finished this book and i'm looking at this and you're like wow this is you know this it really is, feels like that yeah totally yeah. now I'm, of course i love like, the floating spaceships too yeah really cool so should we head on over to the next place because we are already almost at three at uh 12. Oh God, you Americans! You you really need to learn how to. Uh, sort hey, of... we have like four other places to go. <laughs> we don't have to. I mean, I know it's ambitious. Maybe we don't have to go to them all. Okay, let's see. Which one should we go? Um, the next is the Urban Art Experience. So we've been there before. Should we try the Moya Museum next? Yeah, that's a good idea. the The Urban Art Museum is amazing, and and again, we may have been there before, but we we are uh, yeah, the, yeah. The, the crowd is increasing, and you know. It's a lot of influx yeah. of new people, so I don't see any harm in exploring things. Yeah, we should again. definitely go there. Yeah, but let's do the Moya Museum first because yeah. we haven't been there at all. So yeah. we'll go there, and then we can head to the next ones. Okay, let's hop back here. Ah, Eb is really making a good point that we could already put a spawn point into a vehicle. Um, <laughs> Ma'am, do you wish? What's up? Hello, Will you everyone. Are coming on the event? After yes. that, let's go to the event again. Okay, Strawberry, uh, let's, let's, that may let's, not be possible. It's like a uh, kindergarten uh, class. Uh, All right, children, uh, we're going to leave. We're going to move to the next location. Yeah. And it's in the chat. And if you're not I'm paying attention, it, yeah. you're going to fail hands. class. <laughs> And you have to repeat it. <laughs> Northern, hello, Wait, Northern. Give me a link and then we'll go. Everybody will follow um, me. you. I'm a VMNS, I think. Who's that? Bit? Okay, go to the I'm next location and then you can leave. Maya, hello. Yep. Hey, Lepper. hey, no, hey. Lepper, Ooh, don't Maya, leave. you fantastic. Lepper, you're with us for the end of time. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why when we okay, how should I no, 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 sorry. Okay, aren't you going to the next experience? Uh, I think I have to go. Yeah. Oh. But yeah, it'll be nice. But um but, but before what, you go, I really want to sing happy birthday for him for tomorrow. I don't know if I'll wait, see this him, is birthday? Yeah, we should. Oh. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Oh. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Is that what you mean? Happy birthday to you. Now kick his ass. <laughs> 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 Let's take him. Let's take him. Happy birthday. Okay. So, okay, now we know what the killer app of VR is not. Uh, or not yet, not yet anyway, which is simu simultaneously wishing somebody happy birthday. Hey Alfie, at least you know who to bar from your competition now. <laughs> Bye, Lepper. Good to see you. Bye. I'll see, we'll yeah. see you. See you later. Birthday, birthday, birthday. Have a great birthday. You get a birthday present, you get some Drax brew. I got a whole case. Okay, guys, I shared the link in the chat again. We're heading on over to the Moya Museum. Awesome, Drax, you're coming, right? Yep, yep, yep. And here we go. Okay, let's go over. Ah, Strawberry's always pushing me to my limit. Kelvin, why are you not? Why are you not here? Kelvin is on YouTube. Beam me down, Scotty button. Yeah. <clears throat> so the Moya Museum by Moya. Also, a name that kind of sounds vaguely familiar from Second Life. seen resources there's another place that i haven't visited prior to this i just assembled the list intentionally here it's here really we go. quiet <laughs> that may be from people arriving every time someone arrives there's a uh, a hit wow wow and it's wonderfully quiet ah oh the quiet so let's walk around here and soak in the scenery like in a, a real museum where there's no oh, incessant wow. just talking about like like you know reflecting and and just letting it soak in 
I'm thinking the person you made this has an Oculus. I think Sin. I think Sin. All yes. I can think about is that you need new shoes, Drax branded that? shoes. That's all I got to say. They're not Someone shoes. <laughs> They're sliders. At least, <laughs> at, <laughs> at least know your own footwear. I don't know. I'm not a native English speaker. What are they called? Oh, that's so funny. Uh, they got many names. I mean, they're flip flops. That's a good name for them. Yeah, but flip flops are usually things. with with like with with the toe. Yeah, right? but I mean, it, it, co it coexists with different designs. I mean, sandals is mostly what people call them. Right, sandals. Oh my but god! But this looks like um, this looks like Oculus sculpting. Ah, oh, with medium. medium, you mean? Yeah. Cool. That's how I made this uh, cat head. Yeah, yeah, that's what these look like. Uh, this is sort of... it's like play doh, isn't it? Basically. Exactly. That's what this looks like. But you know, Sin, but I made this stuff in um, Paint 3D. If you look at, uh, I have an experience true, called true, yeah. Access, and, um, and that that actually was totally... I have the, the arcade called Meet the Draxes. You, and I actually have it in my basement now. And the person, and Naya took it off the store so no one else can get it. Well, I have it, but I... Sin, I replaced it in my basement with your racing game, which I just bought. Why don't you have more couple of games? Yeah, I don't have that much space in my basement. Oh, yeah. It's very small, and my mom wouldn't let me put it in there. You know how to teleport, Chris? Uh, okay. Uh -huh. I'm sorry that the backstory with my mom is getting a little bit old too. That I live in my mom's <laughs> basement, but it, it's it's uh, okay. So here we are, God damn it! And I wanted to look at this wonderful artistic expression, and here I'm talking with Sin about oh, flip cool. flops and sliders, and <laughs> and, and snow is here. Also, looking weird. Thanks, Rex. <laughs> You're like the, uh, the height of normality yourself. With your Can you imagine how crazy that head would look if he, if he made those eyes media surfaces? Oh my god. Can you do that with attachments? Yeah. Okay, really? I let you guys talk shop while I'm looking at this beautiful art. <laughs> You can do that, yeah, because then you, as soon as you oh, go look. into an experience, it loads up with whatever is playing in the experience. Like, some lag there, That's awesome. No, no, because Sailor, ask Sailor how he did it, because he's got the big space mask with a surface on it. Oh, Space Sailor? Oh, yeah, he's yeah. got like, a sort of TV screen, isn't it? Exactly, yeah, so do, do you try the same just for fun. Are you, uh, are you from Cornwall, by the way? No, Gloucester. Gloucester, ah. okay, I don't know where it is. You know, this is what attracts me again. I mean, I, I keep saying uh, me, 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 but, but since this is our show and Strawberry and I are the hosts, uh, I need to express uh, that uh, why, uh, why I find, you know, what motivates me. I'm listening to others and everybody has a different type of motivation, but what is most fascinating about virtual worlds to me personally is really walking through other people's uh, minds and their imagination. And I find that more satisfying than, um, you know, I'm not, I, I'm not opposed to a slick, polished uh, piece of entertainment. Uh, I'm not here to knock it, but I find it just more satisfying, almost in a nutritious sense, um, to go to a place that is built by a that is that is homemade whatever the skill level is of that person um, because I do believe that uh, recapturing the feeling um, of of making imagination into reality and by reality I mean manifested in in a place with a sense of place and that could be in the physical world or it could be in a virtual space digital space that's pretty much uh, almost irrelevant i believe that 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 is really the the mode of expression which i think is um extremely rewarding uh versus other other types of um other times types of uh using your time with mia grace is is some a name i don't recognize welcome mia welcome to atlas hopping we're very happy to have you i hope you are enjoying yourself is this your first time 
Is this the first time you join us with the Atlas Hopping crew? Are you going to come back, or am I too annoying? I watch your show all the time, but I never come to you. Okay. You passed the test, Maya. You passed the test. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I was just saying, Strawberry, this to me, again, is so... I say this so often, but it's so rewarding to go to a place like this because it, it's invigorating the, the, the imagination that is on display, you know, that people just... It's amazing. They just do stuff, and I think it's rewarding. I mean... So I had a question about sorry, this place. Sorry, Maya's, uh, uh, Maya is saying something. Her, her mic is really oh, okay. Low. Oh, Go ahead. Yeah, the all... Go ahead. Yeah, I did something in 3D paint, and it's it's awesome. It's super simple, and it, it, there's one... Uh, uh, kind of like right, right. Yeah. What is it called? Uh, God damn it, I can't think of it now. It's also a repository of also. Let, let me ask. Hey guys, what? Google Poly? There you go, exactly. Uh, let's go inside here. Let's go inside, Strawberry. Let's go away from from these yappers. Mia, follow us so we can. Ah, uh, here. Uh, you know what? Wow. Drax. Yes. Drax, I had a question. This place, all this artwork on the walls and so forth, is this from the original artist that created the experience, Patrick Moyo? Because it's, it's gorgeous. Yeah. And did you see the other little, uh, there's like another little place at, outside of the museum and it's got murals all over it. Um, so I'm just wondering if it's the same artist. You know what I thought was hilarious? I, I thought this thing over place. here was a hanging picture, but it's actually just outside. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, yes. like a picture? <laughs> yeah, totally. If you look straight I was on. Like, That's pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at this landscape. Wonderful composition. Yeah. It's almost like the, like, uh, but I was like, this is so different from the rest of the work. <laughs> this tree really looks like those trees in uh, in Monterey and Big Sur along the coast. The lonely yeah. pines. Wow. So you don't know uh, Patrick ah. Moyan if he created these things? No, I don't know. Like Let he me... actually painted is, them. Is that in the you description, his name? In the description it says serious game. And then I guess it's French. That's, that's <laughs> something in French. And then Patrick Moyan. You know, uh, that name is so familiar from Second Life, and so... Yeah? So I hmm, need to look, look him up, up in Second Life. Yeah, we need to look this up and, and provide um, in the YouTube description. You know, because I, I remember that from... Uh, let's type this in real quick here. Oh yeah, Studio Moya, here it is. There you go. Oh, is this a picture of him up here on the wall? You see this right above us? One Drax? second, one second. Uh, where are you? I'm right here in front of the picture. Look above, above my head. Wait, I'm not in... can't find you. I hear you, but... Do you think oh. that's him? Yes. It's probably him, right? Here, Patrick Moya is a French contemporary artist keen on expressing himself through the diffusion and transformation of his name and image. Many examples of his colorful work can be found at his Second Life galleries, including photography, painting, oh. and sculpture. Wow. Oh, no, there's an upstairs. I didn't know there was an upstairs. How do you get upstairs? Okay, see, this is how incredibly oh, ignorant we are. And I say <laughs> we, and what I mean is me. Because I picked this uh, from... I wanted to do an experiment, and I picked it from the Atlas. And to see what happens if somebody were in, be interested in museums. And I picked this and I had no idea. And here he has a, a Wikipedia article. Patrick Moya is a southern French artist living in Nice. Oh. He is part of the artistic movement Ecole de Nice. Moya has been in the forefront since the 1970s. Oh, wow. He is really well known. And there is a lot of uh, pictures on... And he on... chose to create a virtual environment in Sansar and Second Life to showcase his art. Wow. Well, he's been in Second Life for a long time. Mm. 
We need to get him in here. Here he is at. Yeah. Is, the, is the art made by an, uh, a resident? Yeah. Hey, Ebbe, so. we just uh, found information. This yeah. is Patrick Moya, and he has a, a gallery in Second Wiki Life. Page. He's, he has a Wikipedia page. He's very well known. In fr uh, he's from France, and he's part of the Ecole de Nice, a movement that originated in Nice in the 70s. And here's a, a whole bunch of stuff on the on the web about him. He's very well known, and yeah, and and to, the, the is that him right there? Yeah, yeah, I think so. And Wolfie just found his Twitter. He shared it in the chat. Wolfie is we the man. We should tweet at him. Wolfie, yeah, we we we're gonna have him as a guest next time. This is just crazy. I went and, upstairs. Boom. <laughs> I was wondering how to get up there. No, but I, 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 I'm. T I'm telling you, Strawberry, it was so interesting oh, okay. because, you know, I, 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 I admit, I mm -hmm. mean, there is so much information floating around and I should have probably people are going to scold me for like, oh, you didn't know that Moya was in uh, in Second Life. But when it's I okay. when I looked at this, the name sounded so familiar, I couldn't place it. And here we are. Wow. Wow. What a view. Whoa. Oh, let me go check that. Oh, wow. Look at the sky. <laughs> Ebe, I think to me this is another example. I mean, I know there is a million different use cases for virtual worlds, but I do think that Sansa has already created a wonderful, uh, positive image for serious artists who they 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 choose this platform over others uh, to express themselves, and whatever the reason may be, uh, that's just a fact. Well, there's not many platforms that allow you to just work within the domain of content yeah. and not not getting like completely wrapped up in technology. And oh, so... I, I agree. That's definitely the biggest thing is that it's so easy to use. But the other two platforms, which shall not be named... Uh, they have been trying to attract... There's only two others? There's only two? Well, I mean, you know, the, the, the serious contenders, you know. Uh, the, 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 the series, you know, there's only four big metal bands from the 80s. I mean, you know, there's Slayer, Metallica, Anthrax, and uh, Megadeth. But uh, anyway, I'm getting off, a, uh, getting off point here. The fact so no no Van Halen or well Judas Van Halen Priest or oh Van Halen is the best track. okay or... well wait I'm talking specifically um, <laughs> early eighties of course Van Halen was there before number one Judas Priest is very important but Judas Priest technically is part of the new wave of British heavy metal so it's a different um, <laughs> I'm a heavy metal sociologist Ebe you you you, you I don't care for heavy metal much at all so. Okay, then I'll let me tell going. you for the next two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Van Halen. Okay, no, but the, but the, I like like I know I like I like more. Uh, Rogers. <laughs> What's wrong with Kenny Rogers? I don't know. Back then, I'm trying to think of Deep Purple, maybe. I don't know. Ah, yeah, Deep Purple uh, is awesome. Yeah, yeah. No, I I hear you. A uh, little more, a little more musical, a little less screaming. <sighs> Ebbe is sounding like my mom now. <laughs> why do you why do you listen to Metallica? All they do is scream. <laughs> oh, this is awesome! Look at this. So Patrick Moya sold us. Uh, we found out that Patrick Moya is a is a well known French yeah, artist. We need a group picture in front of one of these. And of course, Solas does not uh, listen to me. She just keeps babbling on. And it's okay. Drax, yes. Solas, Solas is right. We should all stand in front of this Moya thing, and or some and of us can sit, some of us can stand. Oh and yeah. Then take a picture. Okay. I'll, take, I'll, I'll sit, and you guys stand behind me. Whoever can sit, sit. Well, at last, Solas picture. has ses, has said something of <laughs> significance. <laughs> Strawberry, thank you. I am now not following Drax and following you. Yay! What? Oh my God! No. Oh no. <laughs> no, this is this is looking great, guys. Okay, Strawberry, you're let me, you're let me the just pro zoom photographer. In. Get Ebe in here. He needs to be in here. Come on, come on, come on. No, come you on. are. Oh wait, I'm standing right in front of what? Who's that? Oh, Bluebell. Sorry. sorry, I'm gonna go. You guys taking a photo? I don't want to yes. photobomb you. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Come on, Daisy. That's the point. We're all getting in to send it to the artist. Yeah, whoever can we're gonna, sit, can we're gonna sit send it to the then... artist Patrick Moya yeah. that we visited yeah. his place. Yeah, he's on Twitter. We'll tweet it to him. 
Yeah. Have you ever seen his uh, four sims in us at all? It's so weird oh, when no, you don't I see haven't. the cameraman. You're just oh, going like, what am I? Where? He's got a ton of stuff <laughs> in his cell. Cameraman sitting on the floor. <laughs> He's Wade got, Murphy. He's got stuff in his SL too? I'm gonna have to check this out. No, his yeah, he's SL got four, is, four Sims. His SL loaded. place wow. is big. Like, like that cartoony poodle down there? He's got like a whole scene that's done in cartooniness like that. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go there. Even, even the terrain, the even the terrain, terrain is Can done like that. Can somebody get the children out there to come for the photo shoot? Jesus Christ, this is... <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Adrian. Still got quite a few people here. If the people outside are not coming right now, I'm going to tell you the story when I when I <laughs> taught music at the Santa Cruz Richard. Waldorf School in 2002. Abby, <laughs> Abby, I know you're the CEO of Linden Labs, but let me explain this to you. It's not a video. It's a photo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh and Ebe, God. also, let us explain <laughs> that it's not a VHS tape. <laughs> He's so going to kill me. Oh, my God. I can't believe I said that. You're going to be banned. I know. I know. I'm going to wake up and I'll... <laughs> all my avatars will be deleted. <laughs> Wait, you mean you have more than one? Ooh, no. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, I got a couple of good second pictures. life and... All right. Thanks, guys, Thank for you, Strawberry. Some people should be on their way. Oh, this is too late now. We don't need them anymore. Send them back down. La, 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 la. <laughs> What's this YouTube thing over here? Is this, like, his video? Yeah. That he's been streaming here? Maya. Yeah, compilation Moya. There you go. From Wait 73. A he's got a bunch that's of people his, that's in his this art. video looking at his art in a virtual world. What'd you do to your hair, Maya? It's oh, is, the... it, is it displayed from SL? Oh, I yeah. don't know if it's SL or Sansar, but he's got a no, bunch of No, this looks like SL. SL. This yeah, was it's SL. Probably SL. There you go. So he's showing a bunch of people. Keep in mind, we're seeing, I think we're seeing the uh, awesome. video at different times, maybe. Oh, maybe, yeah. No, no, that's exactly what's happening here. That's awesome. Yeah. Fantastic. It's a, it's, uh, there's some uh, SL avatars dancing. It's pretty cool. I'm going to have to go check out his place with SL. Yeah, so we're seeing it at different times. So you guys yeah. should let me know because next week I think we're f shipping a fix that will make the video quality, the frame rate of video go way up. Oh, sweet. Oh, very exciting. Oh, and Epic. Actually, we, mm -hmm. because we sometimes it feels laggy and stuttery and just not a super high quality. And I saw 1080p at 60 frames just cranking. That's awesome. I don't know what we'll set it to, but it's it was a simple fix. We just didn't realize. And I and I already see actually that the lip sync is better than last time, or maybe I'm just. It's it's still it. broken, and that's supposed to. I talked to Riga who fixed it, but he hasn't shipped yet. It'll ship hopefully Monday. Okay. The fix, and he said it will actually. He said it was going to be better than ever, so we'll see. Great. It wasn't just fixing because it, with our with the last release, major release. It, it definitely got worse. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I, I filmed. He the said the problem scene. had already. He said the problem had been there for a while, but it was just something else in this last release exposed it even worse. And yeah. uh, when he fixed it, he said he didn't just fix it to go back to where it was, but to make it even better. So I'm curious to see how it look. Maybe that goes up uh, roughly Mon Monday, Tuesday. So I expect both of those things. Great. I mean, it's a big asset. That's one of the the big things. We, we um, added to your uh, the real-life interview that we did. I shot uh, the virtual version with Tom and Donna in um, Sansa and was like, oh, no, the mouth is... I know. We, we broke it just at the wrong time. Exactly. Yeah. Just because, just to mess with us, I understand. Um, okay, let's let's go to so the next. Let's go to one more place. Uh, we can do the Urban Art Experience or VR Cult. Which one? Ah, oh, the the Urban Art Museum is, is huge. It's vast. I wonder. Yeah, we probably won't have time for the whole thing. I think. Um, well, yeah. Well, let's let's go there though because I think it works in the context. Um, that it it's, displays a lot of stuff from other people. Uh, from different people, and it's it's kind of um, you can explore it, and there's a lot lot of hidden things. So we will probably get yeah. um split apart. Which is cool. So, okay. Which is cool in the sense that I don't have to listen to Solas and Naya is giggling over here. 
Why are you bullying her? I know. Have you noticed that? Okay, totally I, tur- I turned into today. a bully since, uh, hey, since uh, Friday. You know what, Strawberry? It starts in Slack. Ah. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Right. Says, I'm going to have to block him on Slack. show up at Atlas Hop. Or I'm <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to head on over to the Urban Art Experience. Actually, two weeks ago, nice. I drove all the way to sure Solas to tell her in person because she didn't check her Slack messages. I drove like 300 miles into the California countryside, like a lot of cows, and you know. And he said, if you don't start checking your Slack, Guido is making the next visit. <laughs> okay, I'm heading on over. Come on, guys. What kind of thread is that? <laughs> Naya, I'm going to think of a new f- threat. I'm very creative. Okay, uh, Urban Art. When did urban you go? Art. Oh, and we lost all the other people. Ah, uh, Job Job is mentioning Motorhead. Oh, yeah, Job Job, please come to Sansar so we can have a uh, a heavy metal hour, sociological heavy metal discussion. That would be cool, you know. That's uh, That would be um, uh, an interesting show concept, I think. Um... Good to see you, Job, on the on the YouTube stream. I hope you enjoy this, um, and I and I hope we see you here sometime. So Job Job is watching the stream, and Verfi always a uh, big heads up to Verfi again, who discovered the the press item Wait, in the German Job Job press. is watching your stream. Yes, of course. Why would he watch yours? That's it, Job Job. That's it. I'm <laughs> you. I hope you're listening to this, Job Job. <laughs> Listen, Jump Jump, don't watch her stream. <laughs> All the... Someone's polluted. Uh, oh, you're right. This is new. Oh, wow. Look at this guy. Drank too much Drax brew. Check it out. Drax, were you here partying last night again? Oh, my God. <laughs> This is a metaphor for for our world. <laughs> what is the shark got on his face? <laughs> that Facebook like is like Facebook is like is being used to fish things. Oh yeah, is it? Yeah. Oh. See, yeah. Facebook is <laughs> Facebook is way more um, destructive than Drax brew. Can somebody please take a picture of me? How I how I conquered it's the world? It's too dark here. The lighting is really bad. Oh, it was here, wasn't it, the last time we were here? What's that, Naya? We come here like so once weird. every month or so. Ah, <laughs> yeah. oh, but for Atlas Hopping, we've only been uh, been once. I I think this is. Um... I think three times. Really? Let's go see if the hot tub is yeah. still out. This is wonderful, though. I, I've Wait, always liked this place. They have a hot tub here. Yeah, there's a hot tub upstairs in the sky. <gasps> oh, cool. Yeah. Hot tub in the sky oh, with diamonds. <laughs> Hello, Snow. Hey, Chris, you're back. What are you up to doing here? Okay, this is Snow, do you have the impression uh, that the audio... Just technical you guys going to have to check out the cave system. Yeah, yeah, we know. It's amazing. Oh, you know about it? Yeah, You've yeah. Been there before. I've never been there before. Oh, this is crazy, Ebbe. If the, I mean, this is so vast. Like, first time we were here, I was like, yeah, okay. So what's the big <laughs> deal? It keeps going like, and going and going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so we can enter down here. Oh, now I'm lost. Oh, big, um, big shout out to Retro Metallic, by the way. Retro, uh, we're gonna go to your place next time. It was, it was a last minute decision. Um, I wanted to give a shout out to Retro because he has been very instrumental also in. Um, Is that Serbius's? Uh, however you pronounce his name, two. Fireflies. Oh, that's so guy out here. <laughs> Alfie, that's what I need on my sound button. Like, I, I have to. I need a sound button system where I press a button and it says. It's so geil! It's so geil! I say was geil. This is. Uh, so let me let me finish this point. Retro Metallic, uh, if you're watching, we're visiting your places next week because I want to uh, really showcase what you've been doing here from the very beginning. So this is a very vast cave system. I'm going to separate myself from the crowd. This looks really great here. And uh, I think in the description it has all the names of the artists that are um, the paintings and pictures. 
So we're gonna link to that description. This is just oh, awesome. Cool. I wonder what happens when we go the other way in the cave system if we come out here. Yeah, this is my favorite. We've been here a couple times, yeah. And I'm gonna I'm gonna list the uh, names of the artists in the YouTube description, but I can't um, I can't look at it right now because I want to stay in uh, in the headset. They're still in the cave here, I guess. Can't go through. There was one other path in the caves. Hello, Sophia. Thank you so much for, for being with us. Hello, Jax. Sorry, I put you on the spot. I I'm just I cannot be relied upon. I'm a liar. I'm sorry. I said I didn't ask you, and I asked you. No, it was it, it's absolutely wonderful, and that's actually a great uh, example also why we we need um, we need real time translation. And um, I was at Linden Lab, and I interviewed Ebe uh, about this for the documentary two weeks ago, and he said that the real time translation they're partnering with other companies, and uh, it's coming. So that's pretty cool. I will sit in now. Where are the other people? Are they in some of the other rooms, Drax, here behind us? No, I he think said they... they got fed up with you, Drax. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's... They had to move. <laughs> they uh, can hear you. They can't see you. I can, I can see now, right? I think they went the other way in the cave system. There were two paths. Yeah. Let's go they back went in to the, the cave left. system. They went to the left. Uh, run, run, Forrest, come on. Really run, run, Forrest. Run, Forrest, run. I know. Run. I know. I know. Run. There's another path in the cave system. Ugh, Daisy, I need to make a provision that ne that everybody who attends Atlas Hopping is barred from talking about tech, tech, spe tech specifications. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. It always devolves into that. And I'm guilty as charged because as a musician, I used to do that, but it drives me crazy. Are writers yeah. the same way when they meet? Do they talk about... Oh, yeah, we talk about life, yeah. I could, well, right? I could bore you to death about that all the, all the time. But me I too, that. like structure no and... Oh, well, God. Yeah, no one else would know, you know, be slightly interested. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know which one I'm going, by the way. No, but there was another. there was another path. Yeah. Huh. Maybe, uh, Vamos a Wait, I go back in. It was there was very dark in there. Here, follow me Daisy, because my darling, I love this. Where are oh. you going, Daisy? <laughs> I don't know. I'm following Jack's with trousers. That's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they made like this glow in the dark. You can yeah, never. Yeah, there's a an advantage when it's all dark. <laughs> At least you can see Jack's pants. Look, yeah, this yeah, is the sure. other way. This is right. the other way that we didn't go. This way we gotta go. Or is this just a room? Here, here, come on. Follow me. Here we go. Krass, huh? Here's a totally different... There's yeah. a rat. Here's Drax Brew. Oh, look. Some guy nice ate. green statue. Oh, yeah. You see the green statue. I see the Drax yeah. Brew on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Some guy ate pizza and drank a little bit too much. Can't even clean up. Ah, Maya, you wanted to. I, I cut you off earlier. You were saying something, and then you were. Uh, do you recall where we what we were talking about? Ah, you're too low. I can't hear you. Sorry. Hold on one second. 
How about now? Can you hear me now? A little bit better. So I was going to say that I, I um, hang out with people who went to uh, Tech Fidelity, but one of my major pastors of the show. Uh huh. Well, not the show, the, uh, the, you were having issues with Tech Fidelity's interface. Ah, you're still very low. Yeah. It's very low. That's very the, quiet. That's that's okay. It's uh. You can, if you like, you can type uh, your your comment, and I'll read it. I, I always try to be very mindful about uh, uh, following up on conversations. And you know what? There is actually fairly good audio occlusion here. What happens if, can we go through here? Wow, this is really, this is so good. Big downside uh, of Atlas hopping, Daisy, is that uh, there's just too many people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. You have, yeah, we have. It used to be uh, easier to talk. We have no privacy. Lonely, like, the, su the success is killing us. We've sold out. Yeah. <sighs> Look, here's a torlicopter. Yeah. I think something went a bit wrong with that one. That's uh, I've had that a few times. <laughs> When the, when the mess has gone wrong. Right, that's actually yeah. my first picture from Sansa is where I uploaded two chairs <laughs> yeah, they in this like color. That, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's something floating over there. What is this? Go up here. They're still talking about technical details over there. <laughs> Mm. Or Microsoft or whatnot. One day that we'll be getting just the devices implanted like they do now. And I can hear Solus even from over there. <laughs> oh my god, Drax. Oh Drax. <laughs> See, you guys need to defend me. Beat them up. <laughs> oh, you're in the hot tub, hot tub time yeah. machine. <laughs> no, hot tub. No, That's awesome. Ahead. Hey Drax, will you bring me a margarita? Uh, okay. What? You too, please. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh wow, this is so cool. <laughs> ah, you Come into the pit. Yeah. We're stuck. <laughs> mm, you sit Has in. anyone? Can, yeah, we can you, you, Does IK work when you sit? Uh, yes. Uh, let me see if I can demonstrate. You just have to not move. Yeah, then you, you pop out. But I was just curious if you could like if you could swim there. I saw ravioli do that. So okay, you mean me you're sitting and then you go swim. back and oh wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. oh, shit, I'm going to drop my drink again. <laughs> <laughs> I did that the other day and ruined a keyboard. <gasps> what for real? Oh, you mean in real life? Yeah, in Hover Derby, I, I was uh um <laughs> there we go. Hold on. Oh, it's a little deeper on that end, I would say. <laughs> oh, where am I? I'm gone. Don't tell him. Abby, don't tell him. <laughs> Can you still hear me, though? No, we can't hear you. Yeah, you know what? Oh, God. Solus voice underwater travels. <laughs> And Daisy's just going, what's your problem? The yeah. water doesn't help. <laughs> Grab my hand, Drax. Grab my hand. Ah. Uh, Galen, you, uh, Galen, you made a, a, a big mistake. You said um, Hover Derby without adding the, the game that will uh, make VR mainstream. 
<laughs> oh, yes, yes. Every time uh, mentioned- the other day when I was at Hover Derby, which may well take uh, <laughs> VR mainstream at last. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. That happened Sunday at 11 a.m. At last. Oh, it finally went mainstream? <laughs> Yay. Oh, actually- finally. At last. Oh. Poor All right, shit. we got toys. Whoa. Well done, Sam. Why the hell am I always underwater? Because only Gail and I know how to do it. <laughs> we, and Strawberry. And um, Naya. Oh, wow. This is yeah, everybody's a platform for me. here. Yeah, there's me. a special. A special. It's a special place. You're special, Drax. Yeah. I know. You <laughs> <laughs> sound so depressed. Well, you guys don't have to live with me. I do. You know, when yeah. Atlas Hopping is over, you guys can log off. I can't. I'm still in my oh, own I'm head. I'm trapped. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm We're uh, trying to figure out how many people we can fit in the, uh, the hot yeah, tub. Yeah, how many in the hot tub before it falls through the... Uh, <laughs> to the floor below. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The pa- the. All right, I'm going to go have lunch with my wife. i see you guys later. Okay, have, have, a, have, nice. Nice. Uh, have a good have one. Have a good one. Ciao. Ciao. What is with his priorities? I don't understand. <laughs> he has the right <laughs> priorities. <laughs> Big hi to her. We met Ebbett's wife once, so let's remember. Very we nice. did? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. When did we meet her? We met she her. was in Sansa? No, wait, she no. was in a you thing have... called Real Life. Uh, it's with air oh. pollution and all that good stuff. I've heard of it. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. But where were we that we met her? You oh, have no, to you weren't. Me. Ah, no, 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 Solas, you weren't there. Yeah, that, thank that was you. The, well, that, that was, was the, a very narrow interpretation of we. Right. Yeah, uh, I no, no, I, I remember <laughs> now, Solas. That was the time where you were there and, and we told you that we're not going to do anything anymore just to kind of get rid of you. And then we went to that party. No, no, no. That was... Or, <laughs> no, that was the lunch the next day, but I didn't yes. make it to lunch. Yeah. yeah, I didn't go to lunch. That's, oh, bummer. That would have been fun. I would have loved to have made, meet his wife. So, You'll guys, I go back I in the arena. Right. I uh, Alfie, tell us, coming, what, who is playing who is playing today? I, uh, I, Ian Herod or something? Yes, it's cool. It's really cool. Can Really good playing. I have really awesome singer coming all the time. So in thirty minutes we're beginning. We have the thirty minutes soundtrack. Yes. At the arena, Ian Herod. Yes. And you Never need forget. you need to get Naftali Tarok. I'll email you about that. Naftali Tarok is a wonderful Second Life musician. Also, she plays uh, in a trio with uh, a jazz violin and stuff. Really, really awesome. Okay, Drax. Yeah, yes, yes, ma'am. It's almost twelve thirty, so we should wrap it up. So we'll see you on we'll the, wrap it up. Guys. We'll go back to uh, the basement and have a little thing? post-game talk. On 14 Harvest? Okay. And then, we, <laughs> and then we're going to Alfie. Oh, Alfie has a show today? Yes. Um, the name what of time? the artist is Ian Herrod. At, uh, at 10... Uh, at, um, so you know, I'm getting one? confused. At 1. Correct. Okay. You know what's really I'll confusing? Uh, well, we'll mm-hmm. talk about this uh, in the basement, which is the <clears> new <throat> time, uh, the times that the events are posted in, which is very confusing. Uh, yeah. It, it guesses. Why, do, why are they confused? It, it oh, identifies it a local your... time zone. No, I mean, it yeah. identifies it correctly, but you're putting it in, like, you know, when you're thinking about Second Lifetime or just some universe or, you know, Pacific time. Uh, yeah, you put maybe it in they local can... time. You get it confirmed in right. Pacific time, and right. then you see it in the events in local time again. And it's really and exactly. it tells you. Maybe it's they on. maybe they should show it on. They should always show it in a parentheses in Pacific time, yes, exactly. so everybody yeah. knows, and yeah. then your local time. Yeah, that would be yep. good. No, but it's also because it's like Galen, you were you were saying. I mean, it switches it back and forth. I mean, if if it, if it were just not communicated, consistent. exactly. I mean, it, it would be actually quite simple to say, hey, you know, put in your event and your local time, and it will the system will automatically uh, correct that for the, each. Uh, yeah, you know. here's a discussion of it in chat that just came up today. Ah, yeah, on the forum here. Good. <laughs> 
Okay. Uh, for heading back. Everybody. Okay, I'm gonna hop around real quick. Oh my god! Like every, every one of the comments has negative one next to it. Oh my god! This is a heated debate. Why are Time people zones. actually for it, or, or I mean, what are people for? <laughs> I think Ricardus and uh, and and Gendipal are are doing battle by wanting each other. <laughs> okay, let me grab the popcorn. <laughs> so let's trust me. There's better programming out there. I know. <laughs> I'm going. I'm, I, I say I need to get some work done. Fun show, you guys. This was fun. So don't leave Always us. Fun. No. Oh, bye, no. Oh, bye. Bye. <laughs> Strawberry is my new best over. friend. Yes. Bye. Yay. <laughs> what? What? We'll no, not. That. <laughs> okay, I've had it. I'm going to get back into my basement. You guys can talk to me like that. I'm coming too. Thanks for coming, guys. We'll see you next week. <laughs> bye. Thanks I'm for the show everyone. again. Have fun. I'm going to move in Good with Kindle. Bye. bye. So what did we... Moya, Moya, Moya. Well, I have my list, uh, and as soon as the video renders, as you guys know, I will put uh, put the list up. And again, the Urban Art Experience has a whole bunch of... Okay, let me look. Ah, here we go. Actually, uh, he has it here. Banksy, obviously. A bunch of other people that I... Uh, name Names didn't ring a bell at the Urban Art Experience... They're all listed in the in the URL to the experience, um, so that's good. Hey, Drax, we're gonna head down to the basement. Yeah, let's go. Something you you still good. have that awesome. Uh, oh, he's here. What Niam? Oh, he teleports and I run. Oh, sorry, my 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 mic was was off. I still can't get used <laughs> to that. Uh, I was gonna say uh, the urban art experience. The the URL once you see it later in the chat, and or if you go to Atlas, um, or if you go to my stream, I have it in the description. Right. Hey, here's Lucas. Hey, what's happening, Lucas? Welcome. Lucas is just hanging out here. All right. So this was pretty cool. What do you? What did you think? Your what is the, the strawberry audience say to all this? Um, not much. Just uh, just a couple of questions here and there. Nothing that important. There's one person that was really impressed with pra pra Patrick Moya's work. Yeah. And I shared their, his Twitter and, and wiki in the chat so they can check him out. I'm definitely going to go visit him in Second Life as well. I didn't know about him in SL. So no, I'm maybe definitely going to uh, check uh, that out. Me neither, and it's interesting because I'm running around there, and, and you know, I'm saying like, oh, it's so cool that people, uh, you know, everybody uh, without an art background can just make stuff. And I go, hmm, <laughs> here's somebody who has an art background, is actually an established artist since the 70s. <clears throat> yeah. So a couple quick things, and first mm -hmm. of all, here is this book, The Three Body Problem, which I'm completely obsessed with. And what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to actually read this book live in Sansa on a live stream, one hour per week only. So cumulatively, you have basically a book on tape. I'm just going to start May 1st, which I think is a Tuesday. So it's going to be Tuesdays. Um, okay. This is a cool. crazy book. It's unbelievable in scope. And I encourage everyone to, to pick it up. It's a trilogy. Adam Frisbee actually got me into this from science. I saw stories. you guys chatting on Twitter. Yeah, I just finished the third one. I mean, it's crazy. And what's interesting is in the third book, this was written in China already in 2006, I believe, and the third one in 2010. And the crazy thing mm -hmm. is in the third book, uh, Van Gogh's Starry Night plays a big role, the painting. And I don't know if you know this, Strawberry, but there was a machinima in 2007 where somebody built in Second Life, Robbie Dingle built in Second Life mm -hmm. the painting in 3D, um, oh. and then took a picture from the from the front. So the two-dimensional image really looks like the painting, but it's actually built on an on an actual sim. And I was wondering if the author actually thought about that when he wrote it. But anyways, I'm getting off a tangent. So people, if you have um, requests or ideas what you would like to see in Sansar, please let me or Strawberry know in the chat or on Twitter. Tweet to us. Um, let us know. Now that Sansar is slowly leaving the beta stage and, and more people are coming in, 
um, we we want you to come and hang out and we want you to participate. The purpose mm -hmm. here is to welcome new people and to, to give them a voice. Uh, and so Jump Jump Forder, I'm talking to you right now, who's watching on YouTube. If you don't show up next Saturday, I'm going to be very disappointed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, follow, follow both of us on Twitter. We're very active there. We chat about Sansar there. So you can, you know, engage in conversations there with us. Uh, and we will announce during the week what we're gonna, what's going to be happening uh, in Atlas Hopping the next the next Saturday. Yeah. So you'll know ahead of time what we're doing. Can I make an announcement about Monday? Yeah, one quick thing, real quick. What I'm trying mm -hmm. to do is to by by Monday or Tuesday, I'm trying to uh, or we uh, trying to have established what is going to be the theme for the next Atlas Hopping. But sometimes it gets busy and sometimes it's fairly last minute. And, you know, I also mm -hmm. noticed that people, um, you know, there is a group of people who, who are looking forward to the next thing, but a, a lot of people decide sort of last minute if they have time and then they kind of hop in. So I don't see it. Um, I, I, I tend to be obsessed with, with having sort of many weeks planned out. But sometimes it doesn't mm -hmm. work that way. And that's why I'm saying if you guys have a last minute idea, uh, tweet it to us. Um, for example, Strawberry and I, we built that world in, in under 10 minutes, which I think was really one of the uh, uh, a highlight. Um, and, that was you know, a cool episode. Like that, yeah, we, yeah. Might, we might do that again, I think. So, so you were saying something mm -hmm. about Mondays. Is there something happening? So this Monday, you and I are going to another virtual world. And what? we're going to be... We're going to be with a with a guide who's going to take us on a tour of another virtual reality, social virtual reality oh world. God. I don't know if we're going to, we should name it, but I'm going to blog about it later today or tomorrow if you want to follow us. Are you going to stream it, Drax? Well, let's not name it because here's the analogy. It's like I'm a musician, so it's like Fender, fe I'm playing a Fender guitar and I'm not, while I'm playing the Fender guitar, I'm not telling uh, my audience that I'm going to go uh, be at the Gibson store next Monday. And, uh, <laughs> or I don't know. I don't know. No. Well, I'm I mean, gonna I'm gonna name it in my blog post later yeah. today or tomorrow, so they'll know what's. They'll be expect. It'll be at Monday at 9 a.m. PST, so you can watch our live streams or join us in the virtual reality world if you're in it. It will be announced later today. Right, and that's also a world, by the way, that is <clears throat> compatible with. You can go in without a a headset. And this is right. so important. And I'm not saying that Linden Lab made a mistake because I, I think it's completely understandable that they marketed Sansar in the beginning as a VR world, but it's a sticky um, misunderstanding in the Second Life community that people think yeah. they can only go in um, uh, with a headset. No, that's not the issue. I think actually the bigger issue is that your computer has to be super powerful and you need a super new graphics card. But uh, but so yeah, VR is not the hindrance actually. So just... Yeah, I mean, I'm doing all these places in desktop, so. Right. And Jup Jup Forder mm -hmm. here on YouTube is saying, yes, dear. He's talking to you, I think. <laughs> mm. I'm mad at him. He was watching your stream. Mm. <laughs> Jup, get off the stream. <laughs> You're not allowed. <laughs> Okay, I'm okay. going to be off, so I will see you on Monday, okay? See you on Monday in that other virtual reality world. Oh, look at Naya. <laughs> She's waving through the window. Hi. Wait, Naya? What? Okay. She's right behind you. <laughs> oh, my God. Hello. <laughs> Naya, I'm... <laughs> wow, but now you can hear actually the occlusion. Say something, Maya. And uh, Naya? Something. Something, <laughs> You can totally hear how the how the window is muffling this. No, yeah, can. very it's cool. Imagination. <laughs> you know, come back in your room. Hurry up. Naya, I have to rebuild the experience and put your arcade down here. I have to put the arcade down. Okay, I'm off. I'll see you, see Next. you later. Bye, guys. Bye, strawberry. Take care. Love you. We love you, too. <laughs> yeah, he said that he can get it in and sit. I don't know where he is. Uh, he said you can sit on it. Um, you, well, he can sit on it, that creep. <laughs> <laughs> He's creepy. I need to rebuild the experience and put uh, put yours well, down well, right away now. Well, I ran out of time earlier. Ah, you can, well, we can't. You can't sit in VR. You have to sit, I think, in desktop. You can sit. You watch me. 
Ooh. Ooh, I'm low? Whoa, this Ooh, is I'm awesome. Okay. I'm hey. Yay! Hey Naya, Yay! try it. Try this. Can you now That's what Galen did. Try to go in VR from sit. Uh no, it'll make me stand back up. Nope. Try it. Okay. Galen Check it out. Now <laughs> It works. Did it? Why does it say dirty links? You're still sitting. Uh, You're still sitting. That's fantastic. Now grab the steering wheel. The oh steering my wheel. god. <laughs> Is it grabbing or my arm's doing something kooky? Oh, you? now you're standing back up. <laughs> oh no, that's poop. That's the I opposite of what I wanted to happen. Hello, Hello Mr. Monroe. I always want to sing something soft to you. If it's your birthday. It's not your birthday. Did you want to try? Wait, is it's his birthday? Like I thought it was Leper's birthday. Naya, let me make two quick announcements. First of all, you have an awesome arcade. You took it off of Marketplace. I was wondering if there's, uh, if you want to put it I back on, if you want me to promote it, uh, your arcade, which I'm going to put into the experience now. But are you putting okay. it back up for sale or not? Yeah, I will. But I have to, I have to figure out why it was changing the... Uh... Animation part. Ah, Changing okay, okay, good, good. Good to clarify. Okay, so that's important. Uh, I'm actually that's gonna important. leave the stream on and show people how to edit, how I edit and how I put Naya's um, arcade right next to it. So people on the stream, stay tuned so I can show you how easy that is. Um, the other announcement I already made about the book reading, the three body problem. Uh, if you want to be part of the Dragster Book Club, which starts May 1st, you got to buy the Three Body Problem book. Or you, there's an audio book um, on YouTube, Chinese author Xi Jing Liu. Absolutely amazing. Dragster Book Club starting May 1st. A book club for people that like to read. Yes. It's fantastic. Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay. Sounds like homework, though, Jack. Not to me. Okay. I, I read for pleasure and I want to revive that and I want to, I know a lot of people are sort of quote unquote traumatized by school about reading for no, pleasure. No, my school totally used to give you like little pizza hut certificate if you read all the chapters you were supposed to. They'd give you some certificate so you could get a personal pizza from Pizza Hut. See, so, Naya, no as, uh, I, I, I find <laughs> that... Uh, problematic, but this is on my another yeah. show uh, on Wednesday, which is called Dr. Drax Reveals. <laughs> <laughs> because I want to be the Dr. Phil of virtual reality, didn't you know it? <laughs> yeah, you could be. <laughs> where, where I, you know, I go, look, I like pizza. Naya, so every time you're reading a book, you're thinking of I'm pizza, or you're getting hungry. And did yeah. you know that the sugar I'm and the salt... I'm fixing to die if I don't get my pizza. <laughs> <laughs> but Naya, did you also understand that the, the, the sugar and the uh, salt in the pizza yeah. uh, makes you feel like you're snorting cocaine? Uh, no way. Uh, that is did actually... You know I'm like a hobo in real life, right? So a pizza is like a big deal. You're a hobo? Yeah, I'm like a hobo in real life. <laughs> Pizza's really a grand buffet for me, believe me, that. that's not going to do anything. Okay, I have never met a hobo who has a high-speed internet connection hobo. and a hobo. a computer <laughs> that can run Sansar. Okay, I'll have to share with you something. A true story, it's literally like a room. Hold on, Naya, <laughs> we're still streaming computer. on YouTube. Only if you're if you're willing to share this with the world. We can also talk yeah, about this privately. Yeah, It's totally true. Okay, no, no, go no. ahead. Yeah. No, but the internet is that important to me. Like, I don't need furniture and I don't need food. I just need my Sansar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. Truly true story. So you're living in totally. a place with no furniture. Yeah, pretty much. Well, I have only moved here, like, September. Mm -hmm. So and I'm just like, you know, this stuff's really not important. I'll never visit it. I'm either at the PC or at work, period. So why do I need those other things? I mean, I have a bed, but <laughs> yeah, I'm just like. Naya, would you be interested in uh, in me making a little uh, mini documentary about you? Well, Think we about do it. that. That's crazy. It's not I'm just crazy. letting you know, like, pizza is a really big deal. And I love when they give us this coupon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I understand. And I certainly don't want to make light of um, also uh, issues of poverty. People who know me, they know that I'm a, a very active person with a lot of... Uh, 
uh, social activism around these issues. So uh, mm. I just for the record, I didn't mean to say like, uh, you know, why don't you eat uh, sesame like seed ramen? roasted <laughs> uh, broccoli, uh, uh, vegan broccoli, like my son said earlier, I actually bought him, I bought him like, he said, buy me chips. And I said, no, I'm not going to buy you chips. That's like drugs. I'm very extreme that oh. way. But then I went to the store and I bought him like a uh, quinoa uh, snack. And then he said, yeah, you're like one of those old people who thinks like just because it says vegan and organic on it, it's better. And then he, I said, yeah, you have a point. Because it's exactly the same crap. It just costs five times as much. Anyways, on that audience grabbing note shall we kill the stream oh yeah what kill the stream you should let the stream go do you know how wild it gets in here after you say that you're right start jumping around and having a wonderful time you know what we actually okay, need we need I... a 24 7 harvest cam that streams automatically just streams around the clock wait a minute you mean like one of those things that people have so that you don't like steal their furniture and stuff <laughs> Like security? Yeah, no, but... Uh, need no security here. <laughs> oh, there was a person earlier. Her name was Mag. No. She was a security officer in uh, Second Life. <laughs> oh, I met her last night. We had a wonderful time with yeah. her. Yeah, she's great. Yeah, we were... yeah. Oh, you met her? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am who taught her how to sit. <laughs> yeah. True story. I met her in a awful maze. With terrible flies that I got stuck in, but I'm I made it successfully through. And then he, Fury gave me his statue from Hover Derby because I won because I made it through the maze. But he made me whistle. It was weird. And then Mag was there, and I met her last night, like four oh. o'clock in the morning. Oh, Kang gave you yeah. his statue. Well, his, he didn't give it to trophy. me. Give it to me. I could just, yeah, I could, tro I could trophy wander around the maze with his award that he then let me handle while I was at his maze. Daisy just dropped my book, and here's this lurker, Lucas M M C squared. Lucas M C squared. <laughs> Why is he standing there? Uh, he's observing. He's probably, yeah. I don't know. I thought he was like your staff or something. What happened to people with t-shirts for your staff? <laughs> He's the lurker. It's Halloween okay. so we can decorate. Okay, what I'm going to do is... now, guys, I'm okay. going to disappear because I'm going to go into um, edit mode. I'm oh, going to no. bring in Naya's um, arcade because I want to... Disappirioso. I'm going to show the stream folks now how that works. <laughs> It's great seeing you guys, my Jekka. I don't know. Are you talking? Oh, he's doing forward slash sit, but he's not sitting. Okay, bye, everyone. This was a wonderful show. I'm going to go into bye edit mode. Shows. Bye, bye. And hot tub. And nothing about tiny ponies. Tiny? <laughs> <laughs> don't think I forgot. That was you actually the best. <laughs> <laughs> it's like really burned into my head that you went in that weird direction. Okay, here I another another business idea: <laughs> shirts with some of these zingers, tiny ponies, or whatnot. You know, if like, I mean, that's or like Emma said something funny too, or uh, you when know, doesn't stuff he like... say something funny? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we need some of these. Okay, I'm going to go into edit mode. I got to go. Yes, sir. I'm going to go into edit mode. Uh, let's put a little bit of music in the background, guys. So when I go into edit, oh, you've, you've seen this before. Um, I'm going to keep streaming this, but I just want to show you how fast this goes. Uh, oh, yeah, I was going to say to, to Naya that they can come back a little bit later. Because they're now in the old scene. Right? So this is still downloading the scene. Oh, and by the way, if you're watching this at 10 o'clock, we have... Uh, we have Alfie. So here we are in the scene. So what I want to do... So they, they, are in the, they are in the scene still, right? In the live scene. Bring down the music a little bit. Can you guys hear me okay? Good. You see all these big uh, green spheres. Those are the audio volumes. The white spheres are the um, the lights. 
So now I'm gonna take sins. I'm just gonna move it over a little bit. And then I have Naya's in here. I hope I do. Uh, should be arcade. This is sins arcade. Here, the Drax Arcade. And Naya is, here we go, meet the Drax. She's, she's redoing it because I think the GIF is not working. So this is awesome. Push this back a little bit. Wonderful. So now what's gonna happen, I save this, okay? And then when I save it, it's just it just gets saved it's not being built you can see here these buttons you can see the save button the build button the publish button the publish button doesn't mean it's publicly published this is a little bit confusing i think for some people uh, the publish button just means it is published on the server but it's unlisted it, the youtube analogy would be that it's unlisted you still ha uh, have the option to keep it unlisted or to list it in the atlas. So when you publish it, it creates a URL. It's just like YouTube. And then you have a URL and then you can share that URL with people that you want in there. Oops, somebody's saying I got too quiet. That's weird. I'm talking softer. But it's maybe because the because the music is is too loud. Did I change the mic position? These Sennheiser mics are sensitive. Okay, now I saved it, and now I'm gonna build it. Building takes a little longer because the building involves uh. Let me put some different music here music is too loud i think it's hard to to mix that um it's good now better okay so the the, the position of the sennheiser mic so uh, i was gonna say if you build it now it calculates and this is important to understand the audio in the scene um this is really sophisticated audio because it involves audio materials and audio occlusion that means every new object changes how sound travels in the space just like in the physical world sound waves bounce off of objects they get reflected refracted um, and so i just added one additional object here but that object uh, adds complexity in terms of the audio so with all this what you saw when i clicked away those green um, spheres the, the audio um, elements of the scene, they interact differently and the voice communication in the scene interacts with those audio elements and with the physical elements. Now I can also give those um, objects, oh I didn't do that, I should have. I can give them audio materials, uh, meaning I can tell the object what material it is made of physical material and how and that de that determines how the how the sound waves um, interact the sound waves of conversations and the other audio how it how it interacts with those um, with those objects now let me see if I can bring up um, if I can bring up the ah well Naya just just chatted with me ah I was wondering if I can actually with while it's building if I can um, get access to the chat but I can't so again uh, if folks are watching this and they are unfamiliar with Sansa, what's happening now, the people who were in the scene, my Jaka, Daisy, and Naya, and Lucas, they are still in there. They're still in the scene, but they're in an older version of the scene. Okay, and when I update this now, I will, and if I would go in there, 
okay? I would be alone. They would be in a different, they would be in an older version. And that, that creates interesting uh, weirdnesses, I guess you could call it. So we're almost there. Almost there. And I, I, I should also say that when people um, say things like, oh, this takes a long time uh, to upload or to, to, you know, build and upload and all that, uh, I, I, pff, the, <laughs> all I can say that it works at all is just completely amazing. The complexity of this scene, is, it's, it's huge. It's huge. Okay, uploading, uploading, uploading. Okay, here we go. Successfully built. So now I'm going to visit now. Okay, now I'm connecting. Oops, what happened? Ah, uh, that happened uh, before. This must be must be a glitch. It throws you back to the atlas. All right, so now I'm going in, loading scene resources. This goes fairly fast. This is interesting how fast this goes because I was expecting it to go actually slower. But apparently it really just updates uh, the cached version of my harvest scene locally with this tiny new addition that I made. Here we go. So here I am. Now let's go inside. And, oops, let me change my audio settings. Turn off the music. One second. And bring up this audio a little bit. So that we can hear. Okay. Ah. So theoretically, nobody's here because this is brand new, uh, brand new scene. Here we go. And here's my little Draxies. And uh, Draxies is hovering in the air. And that's why my 3D modeling career. Went down the toilet because I can't even place an object <laughs> without double checking. So uh, this should this should be an animated GIF, and that's why uh, that's why Naya took it off the marketplace. So this is a one one uh, one of a kind item. And uh, let me wrap up the show by doing one last thing and one thing only. Hello. Ah, hello. See, hello. I was just telling people that they needed to uh, basically reload. I I. I explained yeah. a little bit how it works, and yeah. here we know how it works. Okay. <laughs> you, well, I you... just uh, wandered off. I thought he'd gone for good. No, but what's yeah. interesting in the other scene, that we probably still have people in the other scene, right? Yeah, possibly. I think Naya was still there and whoever that other person was. So, uh, yeah, possibly they're in a different instance. Oh, wait. Actually, she sent me a message. Hold on. Here, where is it? Meet the Draxies. Oh, you've got a, a Meet the Draxies archive. Interesting. Yeah. It's not uh, It's not working. Um, uh, here, Naya says, I will update description. Uh, now she put it in the store. Uh, the screen works so that it's animated. Hey, am I actually sitting? No. Oh, that's what you were adding just now, is it? Yeah. Yeah. 
Excellent. Oh, I don't think I'm sitting. Okay, I gotta wrap it up. Um, I have to wrap it up. I can't go to uh, to Alfie's show today, unfortunately. Okay. I still have to work on uh, the documentary. Yeah. Uh, this yeah. Dreadful <laughs> documentary yeah. because there <laughs> there's so many so many little things. Yeah. That that you. Yeah, like vent. Message, secret man, rent messages in the corner of the screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you, that was about, yeah. Uh, and all the stuff I have to clean up just because Daisy messed it up so many times. Yeah, I know, it's all my fault. It is. Yeah, it's my childish nature. It you is. Know, saying really bad things into it's, the camera. It's adding like two weeks of work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm heading okay. out. Thank you for being here and thanks everybody for watching and we'll see you next next week. Same yeah. time. Okay. Later, Gator. Later.